So how do you stop your robot from going in circles? It's not exactly your typical high school problem. So we're supposed to like make a turn in a square? Programming robots is just one of the challenges the students take on in this Exploring Computer Science, or ECS class, in Los Angeles. There were great disparities in opportunities in computer science that fell along race and socioeconomic lines. With support from the National Science Foundation, education researcher Jay Margolis investigated why so few girls and underrepresented minorities are learning computer science. She and her team at UCLA developed ECS to reverse that trend. It's for getting kids to understand the problem solving that it in, is at the heart of computer science. What do we have to do in order to make it correct? What do we have to try? ECS is tailored to spark the interest of all kids, but especially a diverse mix of kids living in low income areas. My family, we were really poor when we um, came here. This class has helped a lot because it's, not only is it computers, but it's also career focused. The curriculum encourages hands-on learning. The kids are let loose to explore and are really encouraged to collaborate with each other, to uh, brainstorm together, to work together to solve the problem, and to be creative. Like squaring away that robot. It gets complicated because, like, you know, you have to get the codes right. So, it, you know, if you miss one little thing, it's like, you know, it's all wrong. So, you have to be very careful also. Students learn how to think about problems, to create and use technology to express themselves. This is my robot named Bombay. I'm just programming it to do music uh, since I'm a musician myself. This class is amazing. I can never stop learning. Teacher development is a critical part of making ECS a success in the classroom. Here's the challenge right now. Because if all you're doing is following directions, your job's going to be automated. It's going to be a low-skill job that's probably going to go away. So we need to learn how to be thinkers. We need to learn how to be problem solvers. We need to learn how to ask questions because that's where the jobs will be. ECS is having a real impact. Yashua Ortiz took the course and is now working full-time for the web-based company Edlio. Oh, it's great. I mean, it's pretty much been the best opportunity I've ever had. I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere even close to here or where I am in life today if it wasn't for that program. ECS is now being taught in schools across the U.S. Thanks to Margolis's research, this curriculum is introducing more kids to the creative possibilities in computer science. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.